Hello, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials, that's DTW Tutorials. Today, I'm going to be taking some past questions on the University of Ibadan post UME uh, past questions. I've treated two parts of it, uh, part one and part two. This is the third part that I'm going to treat. So, uh, try to watch the previous videos on my channel. And uh, don't forget, try to subscribe and like and share this video with other fellow students. Okay, so let's go on. So, we have a question here, number 30. It says, find the roots of the equation this, okay? So, how do we do this? Remember factorization. I think uh, on my channel, you can watch. I've treated this topic. So, try to go watch the video to understand better. So, here, all we need to do to get the factors that would, that would add or subtract to get 13, we'll say 10 times Three, which is what 30 okay the factors can either be 10 and 3 or 15 and 2 so when we add if we use 10 and 3 let me let me show you what will happen here if we use 10 and 3 it will be what 10 x square minus 10 x minus what 3 x minus 3 equal to what zero okay where 10 10 would be common here between here and here so we have what x minus 1 bracket minus you can see here there's a problem here because if we say minus and we bring out three and say x minus and leave x minus one it's a problem because when you open the bracket it will change to a, a positive sign and which is not the same as what this sign here so we can't use minus 10 and minus three okay so this will be wrong if you check your answers you see you get um answers as a uh, 10x equal to uh, that you get x equal to what uh, 3 over 10 and or uh, and equal to what uh, 1 i think the answer is here you see this you see the answer here so this is quite wrong because of this sign okay so the right way to do this is what saying using 15 and 2 so we have a 10x square we're going to use a minus 15x plus 2x because when you when you when you add this up you're going to get what minus 13 okay minus 3 equal to 0 so what's common here we have uh, not 10 we we'll bring out what 5 5x bracket what will be left will be left with 2x minus 3 okay because 5 in 15 is what 3 so we have a plus here then what is common here will be a 1 bracket what 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so this is common. So we have what 5x plus 1 brackets 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So here we are left with what 5x plus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So here what do we have? 5x equal to minus 1 divided by 5 divided by 5. And we are left with what x is equal to minus 1 over 5. And we have 2x equal to what 3 divided by what 2 divided by 2 we have what x is equal to 3 over 2 so x is either minus 5 or 3 over 2 so what will be our answer here our right answer is option e i have to take time to explain that so you don't make a mistake when you're solving it okay so our next question says make c the subject of the form of the equation this okay i've treated this topic also try to go um go through the, the video so you can understand better just for revision sake and i would say that ui past questions uh this basically jams labels they they would uh, the questions 25 questions without calculator and jams labels all you need to do is just revise more on your jam okay and um i have also created videos on jam past questions solved over 20 topics so try to watch and subscribe don't forget okay so here we're making C the subject of the equation. That's just, you know, change of subject formula. So all we need to do is, let's open this bracket up. We have what? AB plus AC plus 5 over D minus 2 equal to 0. Let's multiply everything by D, okay? I'm multiplying everything by D, both sides, by D, okay? If you multiply this, it will give us 0 and we'll multiply everything by D here. So we have what? ABD plus ACD plus 5 because d would cancel out minus what 2d equal to 0 so let's take everything here and leave this here so we have acd is equal to what taking this here we have what 2d minus 5 minus 
a b d okay so to get c alone we divide both sides by what a d so over a d over a d this will cancel this will cancel we're left with what c is equal to what 2d minus 5 minus a b d over a d so what is our answer here our answer is what will be our right answer here a b d minus 5 our right answer here will be option d okay our next question says the three numbers x y and z are connected by the relationships y is equal to 4 over 9 x plus 1 and z is equal to 4 over 9 y plus 1 if x is 99 find z all we need to do now is look for y so we can put y into this equation to get x and to get y we already told that x is what 99 so we just say put this here put x as what 99 times what 99 plus 1 this year 1 this year 11 this time this is what 44 plus 1 which will give us what 45 so we have our y as 5 so putting our value our y as 45 i mean into this particular equation so we have z is equal to 4 over 9 times what 45 plus 1 so 9 here 1 9 here how many times 5 times we're left with 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 which will give us what 21 so our right answer here is 21 another question says a solid cylinder of radius 3 centimeter has a total surface area of this find its height i've treated this topic try to watch the video so what's the formula for the so, uh, total surface area of a cylinder is what that's 2 pi r bracket h plus r okay so here we're told that the total surface is what this so this is equal to what 36 pi okay so we're looking for what h we're giving r as what well, three so let's put in these values we have two we're left we didn't they didn't give us pi as 22 over 7 so we're going to leave pi alone okay times what is r3 bracket h we're looking for h plus what is r3 equal to what 36 pi let's open up this bracket where we have your 6 pi bracket h plus 3 equal to 36 pi opening up this bracket what do we have we have 6 pi h plus 18 pi equal to what 36 what pi let's try to cancel out this pi so let's bring this pi out we have pi bracket was 6 h plus what 18 equal to what 36 pi cancel cancel we're left it was 6 h plus 18 equal to what 36 all right taking this to this side we have what 36 minus what 18 and which will give us what 18 and 6 h so we have to find h by dividing both sides by 6 and what would this give us 16 18 is what three so h is equal to what three centimeter and our right answer here is option b our next question which is a differentiation a question it says if y is equal to this square find the value of the y dx at x equal to minus one i've treated differentiation try to also watch that video to revise on it okay so here y is equal to what bracket 1 minus 2x bracket 3 so y is equal to this is a function of a function okay so where we have u raised to power 3 all right so we have u raised to power 3 where u is equal to what 1 minus 2x so we look for dy du what's dy du dy du is what 3u please try to watch that video so you can understand so dy du is what 3u square and du the u the x is equal to what minus two this will be zero and this will be what minus two so we we'll multiply to get it should be the u to get the y the x is equal to what dy the u times the u the x and what is the y the u the y the u is three u square plus times what's the u the x is what minus two so minus two so we're left with what minus six u square and which is minus six what is u u is this so bracket one minus two x square the question says find the value of divide the x at x equal to minus one so we're going to put the value of x equal to minus one into this what equation okay so we have what minus six bracket one minus two bracket minus one raised to power two so what do we have here minus six bracket 
this will be 1 plus 2, bracket 2, raised to power 2. So we have what? Minus 6. What's 1 plus 2? That is 3. And what's 3 square? Let me write it here, bracket 2. Okay, 3 square. And this will be what? Minus 6 times what? 9. And what's minus 6 times 9? That will give us what? Minus 54. Okay, and our right option here is option C. Our next question says, find the mean deviation of 1, 2, 3, and 4. How do we do this? We have to revise on our mean deviation, our mean standard deviation and all. So first of all, we're going to look for the mean. Okay? So to look for the mean, we have what? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by what? 4. And this will give us what? 10 over 4. 2 here, 5, 2 here, 2. So we have 5 over 2. And what's 5 over 2? That is about 2.5. So to get our mean deviation, what's our formula for mean deviation? Is what? Mean deviation is equal to that's x minus our what deviation, the values then over the total number of what values. So let's do this together. So what's x for the first one would be what? 1 minus 2.5 that's our mean is 2.5 brackets plus 2 minus 2.5 brackets plus 3 minus 2.5 bracket plus 4 minus 2 minus 2.5 divided by what 4 so what do we have here 1 minus 2.5 will give us a 1.5 plus 2 minus 2.5 will give us 0 0.5 plus 3 minus 2.5 will give us what 0 0.5 plus 4 minus 2.5, what will it give us? It's going to give us 1.5 over 4. How do we add this up? 1.5 plus 1.5 will give us a 3. And 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, that's a 1. So 3 plus 1 will give us what? A 4 over 4. This will cancel out and we are left with 1. Our answer is what? 1. And our right option here is option C. I think this is our final question. I'm going to take for the U University of Ibadan post year me this year next year by God's grace I'm going to take more past questions on a uni on University of what Ibadan post year me okay so let's solve this together a bag contains four white balls and red six red balls two balls are taken from the bag without replacement what's the probability that they are both red balls this is quite simple all it, it is what are the red balls in the bag six and what's the total of the balls in the bag that's 10 so divide by 10 so 6 divided by 10 will be what now 2 here 3 2 here what 5 so our answer is option e okay i've treated probability try to watch that video okay so thank you for staying tuned to destined to win tutorials uh please like share and subscribe to our channel you are destined to win i wish you success in your exams bye for now